should people practice? Well, they have to determine for themselves that the way they're being without practice, so to speak, whatever practice can be for them, is not enough. If they're stuck in a pattern, let's say. So you need to practice to create a gap, yeah, like a pause point, like a rest point, where you're okay with your life, not completely, but you're okay with what's happened, so as not to have a, to bring any darkness to it. But you're open, you know, you're really okay and open to what can give you more strength to do more. If it's within you to want to do more, if you feel you need to do more, let's say, and so you need the strength and you need the protection. So the strength and the protection are two very important things. You have to know how to protect yourself from influences, extraneous and maybe dark, darker, let's say, self-defeating influences that are contrary to your cause. See? And so you need to protect your, your, your interest and see, to do better. You need to protect that. And sometimes uh, you have to create conditions that are uh, in accord with that. And you have to protect yourself. I mean, I'm not saying at all costs, particularly in a certain way. I'm saying be violent. But yeah, you have to create your own space. You have to know that you have your own space and you deserve your own space. You need private space in order to access your own space. Because if it's, it's too compromised, too up someone's and into someone's, you know, whatever, too much, you lose your sense of reality, your sense of balance, and you have no one to blame but yourself because you need to know how much you can breathe, how much inhale there is that's needed, how much exhale there is, how much you're supposed to eat, and then how much you're supposed to you know, get rid of. So we're talking about creative intelligence that enables the individual to practice modifying as they go along to keep some sense of balance. So you really feel you're, you're, you're good to go first thing in the morning. You're not your worst enemy or your friend. You need to become your own friend. Know that what you've been, you need to work with that, and you want to be able to creatively improve upon that if you can, and uh, make your life a better life. Uh, and with your system of, let's say, developing a theme or developing a, a purpose or developing a direction for yourself as an individual. Say. Sometimes you have to fall back on ancestors to have a certain kind of inner strength. And like in the case of those people who have been here, <clears throat> whose ancestors were Freemasons, there's a lot to fall back on, see? because the, the wisdom knowledge of the Freemasons is pretty vast. Yeah. Now, of course, there's varying organizations under different leaderships in different parts of the world, so they have different agendas. But we're talking about people who are gathered to, to create a new world, to create a better world, see? and it doesn't have to take on the Freemasons, uh, let's say context particularly, but you know, free, free, uh, free musicians, okay? yeah. can be free musicians, yeah. who are then, let's say, uh, dedicated on a world basis to create a certain kind of uh, message for the people. Okay? That transcends culture, that creates a kind of like transcendent culture, see? and their spiritual communities are completely dedicated to that. Yeah. Now, but, there may be musical communities that are also dedicated to that. And, and coming together heart to heart, which goes back to the earlier conversation on racism as, as this isolationism in the negative sense, racist sort of dogma, racist kind of like uh, delusion. Okay? See? And uh, let's say excuse for just being violent and hostile towards other peeps, being unhappy, being brutal, where there's no need to be brutal. See? Call, and then be, calling brutality God and, and the Jesus, bringing it all down to that sort of like, you know, toilet mentality. Yeah. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Uh, you, have, you have a chance to help other peeps, save other peeps. If you have the heart, you will do that. If you don't have the heart, we can't expect it from you. The heartless will do what the heartless do. And the heartful will do what the heartful do. Maybe the heartful will be a good example for those who are heartless, in a manner of speaking. Yeah. Should we seek out like-minded individuals? They're already they're already created. You you can you know I, I guess these days you know you can appeal to the web and think you're finding a like-minded person, and you're you're de you're just dealing with front to front. You're not dealing with really you know, anything. But somebody wants to be appealed to. 
certainly. It's, well, I'm, I'm, I'm that person you're looking for. Yeah. Could it be anyone? You know, yeah, I just want somebody to love. Right? Yes, it could be anybody. I just, poor old me needs somebody to love. Cause I can't love myself. I can't love anything else. See, I'm completely useless. <laughs> right? Come and help me love myself. <laughs> uh, and that's what people congregate for. You know? Maybe to help themselves into that, maybe to help themselves out of that, into a mother's only love. So, what do you mean you can't love yourself? It's only love. So sometimes it takes um, um, mutuality of interest to get to a point where you see, well, then there is an evolution. There is actual uh, evolution. So we have to start dreaming in terms of higher evolution, not higher racism. It's just ridiculous. Look at the colors of the earth. Look at the colors of the vegetable kingdom. It's all colors. Look at, look at what you're made of. Strip away the skin. Break the body down. It's all colors. Please, people, be realistic. Get out of this fantasy, bizarre fantasy nightmare that you know, white people are better than brown people, are better than yellow people, are better than red, or, or any other kind of people. It's crazy. Right? We need more heart out here, not more fart. And that's just a bunch of fart, see, in the light of the, the suffering masses before us and around us. Right? Let there be heart. Yes. <laughs> Phew.